In this episode of Bear TV News, we check out an art gallery exhibition, prepare for an upcoming theater production, check in with some of our sports teams, and much more. Hello, you Pike viewers, and welcome to the April 2024 edition of Bear TV News. I'm Oliver Saunders. And I'm Andrew Stratton. We are covering all the recent news at UPike and our community. If you're looking for something interesting to check out but don't feel like straying too far from campus, reporter Avery Adderley has just a thing for you. Today's spotlight shines on an art exhibit that's not just a display. It's a journey focused on Ray Goodwin, specialist in art. So in fifth grade, I was working on a Halloween collage and I decided that that was it for me that I had power and control over creating a space, a place, a, an environment where I could visualize myself. And, um, and yeah, that's when I decided to become in, an artist. From art enthusiasts to faculty, all there to embrace the vision of a remarkable artist whose passion was palpable in every piece displayed. My hope ultimately is that people will talk about their grandmothers that people will listen to one another's stories about their mamas, that people will talk about mama and find out more about her. A story woven through generations, anchored in the cherished recollections of her great-grandmother and granny. Every element of her artwork is a tribute, a stitch connecting the past to the present. I just want more people to talk about the strength of women because I think that so often in our American culture, Women get sidelined for lots of reasons, and I think perhaps we are all equally strong, but in our own ways. I'm Avery Adderley, and you're watching Bear TV News. Weber Art Gallery, located on the second floor of the Rec Building, will be having Ray Goodwin's art showing for the rest of the week, so be sure to check it out. To earn an A on a paper is something we are all striving for as UPike students, but what if I told you that all that hard work might earn you more than a good grade? What about a trip to Dollywood? Reporter Mackenzie Smith has more. The University of Pikeville took a group of 11 students to Dollywood in Gatlinburg, Tennessee. These students attending were a part of the honors program and are required to keep a certain GPA to attend social gatherings. To learn more about the honors program, you can reach out to Johnny Fleming or Shander Mashner. These students were able to ride amazing rides and hang out with fellow students in the park all day and get a retreat from their classes. It was great fun for all involved, and they say they will be back. Do you like song and dance, as well as the concept of plants eating people? Well, we have just the event for you. Reporter Amanda Tharp has the latest. The University of Pikeville's theater department has been preparing for their upcoming spring production of Little Shop of Horrors. We talked with technical director Stephanie Richards on the current progress of the backstage happenings. Everybody, everybody's piece of, um, of creativity working together to fit into the puzzle that becomes the end product and the journey. Um, we, are, we are a growing program. We are looking forward to growing. The students are amazing and, and we, Dr. Steigerwald and I love walking uh, along the journey with the students that we have and looking forward to even more students. We also had the privilege to sit in on a puppeteering workshop run by the creators of the puppets and learn some more about the process. Here to help our UPike students learn how to solve problems and work together. It seems the theater department is heading towards an exciting and excellent show. We wish them the best of luck on their performances. This has been Amanda Tharp with Bear TV News. Little Shop of Horrors will be showing at the Appalachian Center for the Arts on April 12th and 13th at 7 p.m. An additional matinee show will take place on the 13th at 2 p.m. Please come out and support UPike Theater. As the tennis team makes preparations for their upcoming playoffs, we are excited to highlight their progress. Throughout the season, these athletes have shown unwavering commitment, pouring their hearts and souls into every serve, every volley, every moment on the court. Both the men's and women's tennis teams are gearing up for playoffs from April 11th to the 14th, with the men's team boasting an impressive record of eight wins and four losses, 
receiving votes from the latest coaches poll and standing at number 26, just one spot outside of the national rankings. For the women's team, their record stands at seven wins and five losses as they prepare to battle it out on the courts for conference glory. So here's to another incredible season and to the bright future that lies ahead for these talented athletes. Go Bears! The UPI Communications Program is one of the largest majors on campus. Recently, they held a week-long event to highlight the opportunities they can provide for students. Our reporter Alex Lindsay has more details on the event. Earlier this week, we had an opportunity to visit the UPI Communications Program and learn about the world of Con Week. We sat down with Kenzie Smith, a senior in the program, to get an insider's look at what UPI Communications is all about. The communication department hosts a week of communication to um, spread awareness and teach students all about what communication really is and about some of the unique factors that we have within our department. The communication program is the only department on our campus that you can complete from the beginning of your freshman year all the way to graduation fully online. McKenzie gave us the scoop on the program's classes and what students can expect to learn. Some of the interesting classes that we have in our communication department are courses such as our social media class, mass media and society, and digital journalism. I've personally taken them and I thought they were really great and I learned a lot. As Con Week unfolds and communications takes the spotlight, Mackenzie shares her enthusiasm and hopes for the program's future. As an active member and a student in the communication program, I hope to see the communication program flourish and for a lot of awareness to be brought around communication studies. I'm Alex Lindsay and this is Bear TV News. Graduation is fast approaching and today we want to highlight another film and media arts senior student. With the graduation season steadily approaching, the University of Pikeville Film and Media Arts program will be having several seniors graduating. We were able to talk with Michael Lee as he reflected on his time here. I'm first generation American. My parents are both Jamaican. Um, here at U-Pike, I study film and media, and I've been here for four years. In addition to his schoolwork, Micah is also a member of the U-Pike football team. I've been playing football since I was 10. Um, I always knew I wanted to play football. Um, Ray Lewis was my favorite uh, football player at the time, whenever I started first playing football. Um, I would say he kind of inspired me, and my uncle actually played football too. So I, I, I will always remember him uh, playing football. After switching his major, he feels that he found his calling within the film and media arts program. What made me join the FMA program here at U-Pike was at first I was originally a, a business major and then I decided it wasn't for me. Then I decided to change my major and I switched it to FMA. And with the FMA program, I figured the classes were more suitable to my liking. And um, I like how the FMA program is more hands-on work and you're dealing with editing, editing videos, um, creating videos, and telling a story within the videos. So I feel like that better suits me and what I want to do for after college. In the future, he wants to utilize the skills he learned in class to create something new. After college, I plan to use um, everything that I've learned in college in the FMA program with editing, um, storytelling, and visual storytelling. I want to create my own uh, production company. Um, I make beats on the side, uh, something I like to do for fun. Um, so I want to do something along those lines and create my own um, production company. He has also worked on several projects while attending the University of Pikeville. Um, some projects that I've created, one for class that I've done was a short horror film. Um, it was called The Sneaky Runners. And um, I've also done some work uh, with some friends uh, doing a music video. And I plan to do more in the near future. My name is Avery Adderley, and thank you for watching Bear TV News. Well, that's all for today's show. We'll be back in a few weeks for more updates on the UPI community. I'm Andrew Stratton.
And I'm Oliver Saunders. This has been the April 4th, 2024 edition of Bear TV News. Stay classy, Bears.